The Atlantic League baseball playoffs are underway and feature a new chapter for our two local teams, the York Revolution and the Lancaster Bar Stormers. Yeah, Not Barn Stormers, Stormers. Stormers. <laughs> and the stakes for the War of the Roses rivalry between the two is higher than it's ever been. Fox 43's Evan Brooks here now with more on this unique rivalry. Yeah, just 30 minutes separate the York Revolution and Lancaster Stormers. The two both have a rich tradition and plenty of games played between the two in the Atlantic League. However, their opening playoff series against each other is a big one for each side. Playoff baseball is in the air. The rivalry between the York Revolution and Lancaster Stormers started back in 1906. And while their regular season matches have come in bunches, that hasn't been the case in the Atlantic League playoffs. It's the first time in 12 years that Lancaster's met the Revs in, in, the, in the playoffs. And it, it seems that with all the success these two franchises have had, you would think it would happen more often. They beat us in 11, we beat them in 12. Now it's 2024, 12 years later, and we'll see who gets the, the two series to one jump. It's a unique moment on both sides. The Revs finishing as the Atlantic League's first half champions and the Stormers as the second half champions, making for a clash of the league's best. Where else in, in professional baseball do you find, you know, two teams in the same league, neighboring counties, this close together? It, it really is a special thing. And for the fans, it's just a short commute across the Susquehanna River, only adding to the excitement of playoff baseball and playing a ride. Be beats going down south somewhere or up north. So yeah, to be this close, it's a, a really a, a wonderful thing. I wouldn't want it any other way, especially a chance to eliminate our cross river rival. It's always a war between them. While a best of five series will decide who moves on to the championship, it's a heated series on both sides. That's a win for South Central Pennsylvania. And the Revs came a win with a 4-3 victory in tonight's Game 1. Game 2 of the series begins tomorrow. Now, Evan, we know you were there tonight. What was the energy like with such a close matchup? Yes, uh, very energetic indeed from all sides, fans, players, coaches. So it should have the makings of a great series uh, for both of these teams. And again, Game 2 tomorrow. Evan Brooks, thank you.